On the other side of town, President Uhuru Kenyatta officially commissioned the Nairobi Expressway, making it available for public use. The president who spoke after commissioning the highway said the expressway had proven its worth by reducing the traffic congestion and enhancing mobility during the trial period that lapsed on Saturday. President Kenyatta also commissioned the expanded Eastern Bypass. Two major assignments for President Uhuru Kenyatta Sunday. First, commissioning the revamped 27.8 kilometers Eastern Bypass into a dual carriageway at a cost of 12.5 billion shillings. <laughs> The road, which has been expanded from a single two lane road to a dual lane carriage, is expected to ease traffic along the busy eastern bypass, which serves the eastern side of the Nairobi and diverts traffic from the city center. Yeah. The president also launched the Nairobi Expressway after months of successful trial. The Nairobi Expressway has been open for trials and it has already proved its worth. It has ushered in an era of reduced travel time and increased mobility and an era of reduced congestion and enhanced productivity. Speaking after the launch of the mega projects, the president reiterated that infrastructure development was key to opening opportunities for Kenyans. This singular project basically secures Nairobi's status as the region's capital as well as the region's economic nerve center and therefore strengthening Kenya's position as East and Central Africa's commercial and diplomatic hub. The Nairobi Expressway had been opened for public use in May but was closed on July 30th ahead of the official launch. Purity Museo, KT News. All right. I hope you've managed to get a chance to use the expressway. If you haven't, I got a chance as well and it's quite smooth, very time uh, efficient and of course you save some fuel when the traffic gridlock is heavy on the other side as you cruise through Mombasa Road. Well, the big question, of course, is for how long will Kenyans pay in regards to using that road, being a toll road? Well, the road did cost the taxpayer close to 87 billion shillings, and it's a project that was funded through the China Cooperation Agreement with Kenya. So at the end of the day, we are already using the road, at the same time, there's a lot to be desired when it comes to the toll usage of that road. Will this be lifted eventually down the road? Will it stay on? Well, a question, but of time. We want to go on a quick